Okay, so I got a new DVD collection, hot off the presses for it to, to show you. Um, here we have the complete uh, complete movie set of Friday the 13th. <clears throat> so the first I'd show you is uh, Friday the 13th Part 1, then Part 2. Friday 13th Part 3 3D and then Friday 13th the final chapter um, this even includes uh, the 3D glasses in um, in this case for Part 3 the 3D edition okay for movie collection and then we jump up to Part 5 which is a new beginning okay <clears throat> and I got this whole set off eBay brand new you can see they're still in the um, shrink wrap <clears throat> ran me about sixty dollars but uh, you know it was worth it rather than trying to you know be around the bush and collect one here and there just buy them all outright and you know add them to the collection so here we have um, <clears throat> yeah, part five, I'm sorry, part six, Jason Lives, okay, and then, uh, here we have part seven, which is, uh, the New Blood, I believe, yeah, New Blood, and, um, I watched this the other night, actually, um, this is one of my favorite ones because I, I love the look of Jason Voorhees in this one. He's um, this is the one where he is you know in the lake from the previous one and he comes out. <coughs> excuse me, and he's um, you can see his rib cage through his, his outfit and his decomposing body. It's one of my favorite uh, Jason looks. But um, and then there's the um, you know, the girl with the telekinesis that, you know, starts jacking him up at the end. I, w I watched this the other night. It's the first one I watched. One of my favorite ones. But then again, I haven't seen these for a few years, so i got to watch them all again. Here we go. Uh, Jason Takes Manhattan, Part 8. Another classic. And then... Uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings about this one. Jason Goes to Hell. But this is one of my favorite ones. I, I remember watching this on HBO when it, when it first got released on, onto the movie channel. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I had to, I taped it on a VHS tape and I watched it over and over again. It's another one of my, you know, I like the look of them all, you know, jacked and big, you know, and just walking around. Um, well... Through this one, actually, he you don't really see him until at the end. Um, he's being transformed into different into different per people, and uh, but at the end, you, you know, you get good. You know, he's he's just he's just a big guy in this, um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, what else I want to tell you about this one? Oh yeah, hey, so and. And at the very end of this, it introduces you to the, um, you know, the Freddy Krueger part of it, where Freddy's, uh, you know, razor glove comes up out of the uh, out of the ground and pulls Jason's mask down, and everybody was kind of like, "Wow, you know, I guess that's what's going to happen," you know, a Freddy versus Jason, and then years later, that's they end up doing that. So um, it was kind of like. You know, they showed you where they were going with the franchise, which was was pretty good setup. I like it. And then uh, next came, I think I got these out of order a little bit. Yep. Next came uh, Jason X. Some people liked it. The hardcore Jason fans really didn't like it because it's kind of new age and kind of you know outer space and all that. Um, I didn't mind it too much. You know, like I said, no no horror is bad horror. I like all horror. And, uh, you know, it's just different, you know, different tastes. 
Um, but uh, for the most part, I mean, it's it's not that bad. There's some pretty good scenes in there, pretty, uh, you know, violent, you know, classic Jason scenes. Um, so, yeah, it's another one. I'll probably watch this one a little later today. Of course, Freddy versus Jason. Love it. A lot of people uh, have mixed feelings against about this one too, but uh, I don't know. I liked it, you know. Uh, Robert England and um, just this Kane Hoder, Hodder, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, just you know, they they it was just a classic movie. I, I could watch this movie over and over again. You know, watching them two battle, you know, it was just a, it was great. And then um, the newest Friday the 13th killer cut. This is, you know, kind of trying to bring it back to the old school, back in the woods, you know, with the with the kids and all. <clears throat> but um, this one wasn't that bad either. You know, I I, I didn't mind it. Um, had some pretty good gory scenes, a little pretty, um, you know, storyline wasn't that bad. Um not too bad, not too, not too bad at all. So there you have it. The complete, complete movie set of Friday the 13th. Now entered into the horror stack.